Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is BSG 75 Actual, and we were promised a, uh, a surprise for April Fool's Day here in, uh, from Star Citizen, and it appears they did not disappoint. They apparently have turned our entire hangar into an aquarium. Um, and it appears that they're able to phase through the ships as well. This is interesting, to say the least. Um, so, it's been a while since I've taken you guys through my hangar. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show that as well. This is uh, the Revel and York, what used to be known as the Deluxe Hangar. So, there's a ship I've had for a while, my 325A. But in this bay here, surrounded by all the fish is my retaliator heavy bomber and she is a beautiful ship uh, I'm gonna need a little help with this so if any of you guys are considering backing the game uh, might not be a bad idea to do so I'm definitely looking for crew members it takes a crew of six to effectively run this ship there are five turrets and there's a pilot Go inside real quick. I'll take you a quick tour around. Alright, welcome inside my retaliator. Um, upper and lower docking hatches there. And uh, there are fish inside my ship too. That's nice. Alright, this is the forward bomb bay here. Along with some fish swimming through it. And um, as you can see, there are four anti-capital ship torpedoes in here. Uh, I like the, the name they picked for them, the clear sky. Um, and where I'm standing is not especially a safe place to stand. This is the bomb bay doors right there. forward in the ship and around the torpedo room and we come to this is the access to the lower turret uh, you can't get into the turrets right now um, this right here is of course where I will be spending most of my time in the, the office if you will um, it's a very nice cockpit I'm very impressed with what they've done with it. So, continue out. Uh, we'll go up to the second deck. Second deck's a little claustrophobic, but it's all good. Uh, that's the access to the upper turret right there. Whoa. Um. We have one, two, three, four, five, six beds, and the beds also double as ejection pods. So, there's, I'll show you up top, there are blow up panels that will actually allow you to get out of the ship in an emergency. So, let's go back downstairs. Please pardon my voice, I'm still a little ill from earlier in the week. Alright, on this side of the lower deck, we have what appear to be a sort of captain's quarters, I guess. There's a just a little area here uh, with a bed. Not much to it. It's, like I said, this is a military ship, so this is down to business. And on this side, down to the quarters, we have the head, the commode, whatever you want to call it. And a little space shower here. So, yeah, at least our guys can be comfortable. Uh, this is where we came into the ship. There are the two boarding elevators here. And then we go into the, the aft area of the ship. Um, there are lockers here. Uh, this is the, 
this, I believe, is supposed to be the engineering workstation. Um, and then you can see into the aft bomb bay here. There's nothing in the aft bomb bay. It's got the equipment to handle the weapons, though. We're going to cross over to the other side of the ship here. We continue down. And this is interesting. Uh, this just literally gets you out to one of the upper turrets. And there's a mirror image on the other side of the ship. We've got another crossover here with access to the lower aft turret. And uh, then again, same thing here with access to the other uh, upper turret right here. All those pesky fish swimming around. So, quick walkthrough. This is not intended to be an in-depth look. I will look later. Um, so let's get out of here. But let me see if I can get you a better view here. I mean, but the attention to detail in this game is just amazing. I mean, just look at the, the green and the wood. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. deck here of the, uh, the Rebel New York hangar. We'll get a, a better view of my town. Alright, this is where the fish are supposed to be. Uh oh, where's my space crab? I do have the space crab. He's normally inside there. I wonder if Oh, uh, they wouldn't have made... They were joking about making a giant space crab. It would be funny if it popped out of somewhere. But, that is my beautiful retaliator right there. You see the upper two turrets right there. And the uh, forward upper turret there. And those four panels are cover the ejection modules. I'm just going to run over here real quick. Excuse the head bob. This is something that has been argued about a lot. The whole Star Citizen. One of the things that the backers have been arguing about for as long as the forums have been around and they've started it. Uh, the head bob uh, changes the camera. managed to jump successfully onto the railing here, which I don't think I have. Let's try this again, shall we? And there is no fall damage yet, so I'm not really afraid of doing any sort of... Alright. Alright, we'll have to do this the hard way. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, so I promise you a better, better view. Here, the upper turrets. This is above that engineering section right here. The upper docking collar. And here are the blowout panels for the escape pods. Right here. So this is where the And I think I'm actually taking impacts from the fish. How crazy is that? As long as the giant space crab doesn't come climbing out somewhere. That would really be frightening. And then here's the upper turret. Uh, you're not really supposed to be walking on top of your ship. But. All right, so there's the upper turret looking down. I can only imagine there's going to be some sort of chair that rides on those rails in there once they enable the turrets. Um, ladder coming up, and let's see if we can get a good interior cockpit shot here. And there is the inside of the cockpit. So, 
I primarily just wanted to show the uh, April Fools that they ran on all of us here. Um, this is my little Aurora LN. Uh, I will have to tell you that she's not going to be around much longer though, because I have decided to cross chassis upgrade her uh, into a Aegis uh, Gladius light fighter. is a short range fighter, something I can provide escort for this thing eventually. Although I might have to get a deep space fighter to keep up with her. But anyway, thank you very much. I wanted to just show this off to you guys. Um, I did buy one of the buggies. Which the fish are happily swimming through, it looks like. And this is the new thing here. Um, used to be there was a helmet you'd put on and you'd climb in one of the cockpits and that's how you'd launch the simulation, the arena commander, which is the simulated dogfight. Now they've provided you with this sim pod here. That's how you actually launch arena commander. So, anyway, I'm not going to run a mission right now. I just wanted to show you guys. Thank you very much for bearing with me. Once again, this is BSG 75 Actual. I encourage you guys, if you're at all interested, to check out the world of Star Citizen. Uh, it is definitely going to be ready for me. One day, when the social module launches, this is what's going to allow you to exit your hangar and we'll carry you up to the surface. <sighs> One day soon. Um, there is a graphical glitch here. I don't want you guys to freak out. Uh, pay no attention to the driver's hand. She is now apparently completely not backwards on the steering wheel. Sorry, I didn't mean to get out of the buggy. I'll get back in so you can see it. Make sure we've had since day one. And his wrist flips inside out. That looks rather painful. And uh, my pilot is not doing so well. Again, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I bored you. Whoa. And with that, I will leave you. Once again, this is 5 Actual. Thanks a lot.